Hi guys, welcome back to Webjada. So this is a small maybe hotel booking component which takes in uh, two dates and few other details. Now the idea is to calculate the number of days and based on that calculate the price. This is where the derived stores help us. So what I'm doing is I'm actually I'm saving these dates in a store so that you know if I navigate to the other pages uh, that that value is still there I can access them and also I am calculating the price um, and also number of days uh, let me show you how it works so I have uh, selected fifth here that's today so if I select uh, let's say eight now it automatically shows it is three uh, now this is booking details let me show you what's happening here uh, now in the in the form what I have done is I created this store booking details which is here in the stores files I have bound its value to these states now in stores I have uh, the store booking details here which is uh, you know check-in is usually today and I have to change the format um, so that input field recognizes it as a date and checkout will be usually tomorrow so which again I am getting tomorrow here in this format and these are like default values now in order to calculate days I will be depending on booking details so whatever changes happened here based on that I am changing it so if you refer to derived stores here you can find out how to do that so if you want double of a number so you can multiply it uh, I mean this way so this is a store initial value and then whatever you know um, you want to return here and that's what I have done so if I want the total price what I can do is export uh, const I'll call this price calls derived now here so I'm gonna take the store days and initial values days and I'll return um, just I uh, let's say a room costs a thousand five hundred then in that case what I can do is days star thousand five hundred so this way I get the price but this days uh, probably is um, uh, whenever you store it uh, it usually is stored as string uh, here it is number but just in case I'll just have uh, a plus here that way I think it will be converted into a number even if it is a string um, same thing I have done for the dates here anyway, so if I go back here get the price and print it out it is showing me 1500 now if I change to maybe three days it shows me 4500 so that is that is right I can use this to you know in case of payments uh, it is not related to number of adults or children so you can also do that here in the calculation I mean it's just a simple multiplication but if you want more calculation you can do that and return the values or something like this and depends on uh, whatever you know uh, let's say based on the adults also so you want to calculate like number of adults so that means uh, what I can do is yeah if if it depends on number of uh, adults then i will have to you know use booking details as well so which means i'll have to do this i'll also have to use a square bracket here and make that store here so here what i can do is dollar booking details star details uh, dot adults star so so uh, you know number of adults based on number of adults your price changes then in that case uh, it will change based on this like you know, if you have 
three adults then it changes to 4500 for one day uh, so you you can you i think you get the point now there is another one which uh, is pretty similar is uh, here let's imagine you have a cart or uh, e-commerce where you add things to cart and based on the you know things you have added to cart the price should be calculated so that is being shown here where i'm calculating the total price now uh, there are like you know uh, the price of apple is 20 and the orange is 10 quantity is 2 and 3 now in order to calculate the total price i have a derived store which gets cart and then it does the reduction operation here and it multiplies uh, you know price into quantity right so and also this is the accumulator and that's where you get this 70 now if i change the quantity of apples to 3 uh, that would be 60 plus 30 which is 90 so you should get 90 here so this is quite useful in case like you know you have cart you want uh, total price let's say you also want the number of items in the cart that can also be done by adding these quantities uh, in each object here a simple you know a similar reduction function will do it so that's it for this video guys i just wanted to show how uh, derived stores work i'll link this repository in the description and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye